What's up everyone, I'm OBG for tastingskills.com. Welcome back. All right, so today I have Wilderness Trail Bourbon Whiskey. Now, Wilderness Trail was established in 2006. They're located in Kentucky, and this is a real up and comer. They make some solid, solid bourbons here. So let's take a closer look at what they actually make, and then we can cover the two barrel picks that I have. All right, let's start with the Wilderness Trail Kentucky Straight Rye cash strength. This whiskey is a single barrel that is 56% rye, 33% corn, 11% malted barley. Now this enters an air dried level four charred 53 gallon barrel and is aged for a minimum of six to eight years. And it's stored in the upper floor of their rec house. Then we have the single barrel Kentucky straight bourbon that is bottled in bond. And this is a weeded bourbon. The mash is 64% corn, 24% wheat, and 12% malted barley. Now this one enters a toasted barrel that is charred at level four at 110 proof. And this is aged for a minimum of five to six years. Then we have the small batch. Now this has the same technicals as the previous mash bill, 64% corn, 24% wheat, and 12% malted barley. Now this one enters a toasted barrel that is charred at level four at 110 proof also, and is aged five to six years. But this one is only 12 barrels per batch and is all from the same fermenter. And then finally, we have have the one that everybody chases down, which is the silver label. This is a six year old, and this is once again the same mash, bill 64% corn, 24% wheat, 12% malted barley, and this one enters a toasted barrel that is charred level four at 110 proof and is aged with a statement of six year. Now they all retail for around $60 on average, but the six year old or silver label as we call it, this one's gonna be more like 75 to $80. All right, now let's look at Issa does Corey's fine wine and spirits barrel picks, the technicals, and then we can get to the tasting notes. Let's start with the one that's proofed at 117. Now, this has a barrel number of 15F01-28 and is aged for five years and four months. And this is barreled in a char level four and toasted at 110 proof. It's stored in the rec house of N2C5 and we even have the yeast strain, Firm Pro 1. Now this barrel is cast trank and the mash bill is a wheat and mash bill like the previous ones of 64% corn, 24% wheat, and 12% rye. Now the second one is barrel 15E02-18, and this one is pretty much the same, but for a few differences. The barrel on this one isn't toasted, but we get a char level four. It's stored in a different rec house, and this one being B-W306. Also, this one is proofed at 118 or 59 ABV, but it does have the same mash bill. Now, when we look at the packaging of this, I mean, I really, really love that they put the technicals on the side. You know, you get the age, you get the barrel, what type it was, which rec house, the barrel number, uh, the proof. I mean, this is really, really good. I have to say that the industry has to come to a reckoning here. They need to disclose all of this information. I find completely bizarre to me where I go online, I can't find the mash bill, I can't find the year that it was made, I can't find how many cases were made, I can't find who's the actual distiller, what kind of barrel that they use. I mean, when we look at the wine industry, we know right away because people brag about it like, Oh, this is where I got the grapes. This is the type of wood that we're using. Did you know we're using this winemaker? And so on and so on and so on. And how many cases that they made? Because that's the whole idea. You're trying to make something special. And the big players in the whiskey industry need to come to this. Like if you don't have high resolution pictures of your stuff online for people to share, or if you don't have all of the information, then you're doing a disservice to the consumer. And I can tell you from experience, I own a brand and that was one of my biggest mistakes when I started my own brand. All right, so let's taste these whiskeys. But before, do you want to taste like a pro? Head over to tastingskills.com, put your name and email into the magical yellow box, and I will send you my free 17-page guide to the fundamentals of tasting. All right, 
Let's get to these. Starting with the 117 proof. The color is dark, rich brown, amber into a deep gold. On a nose, you get these rich notes that are sweet and the alcohol doesn't show itself for being at 117 proof. You get this beautiful vanilla into this dark chocolate that gives you this honey and some hazelnut and some nice cedar spices. On the taste profile, right away you get this burn that delivers serious spice attack that melts into these wood tannins with vanilla, fudge, dark chocolate. And the acidity just drives a long, complex layers of wood tannin that is super long. The spice just keeps on coming after you taste a few times. And this is so solid. Really impressed with this 117 proof. I mean, this is so good. I have to say that I'm kind of taken back Wilderness Trail is really doing some serious, serious work here. And I've had the inbound ones before, but this barrel pick is so good. All right, let's move to the 118 proof. Now the color is the same as the previous one, but you just get a little hint of the redwood on this one. On the nose, you get some complex wood notes that turns into honey, fudge, and some toffee, caramel notes, and once again, the alcohol isn't over the top. It's so approachable on the nose. On the mouthfeel, you get this rich wood tannin that delivers a spicy caramel and toffee that drives these wood tannins on the tongue that has much more wood than the previous one when it comes to the gum line. This is sweet and very intense, but yet delicate since the burn doesn't take over the mouthfeel. I have to say, that the 117 proof toasted barrel was my favorite out of the two. I think that that's a thing that people need to focus on doing more toasted barrel because that just gives you so many layers of vanilla and caramel and fudge and so on. And this toasted barrel was so, so, so good. Now, do I think that you should buy these? Well, without a doubt, like the 117 proof toasted barrel or the other one that was in the toasted barrel, I mean, they were so good. And I know that this is Corey's fine wine and spirit barrel pick, but I'm sure that if you look around in your neighborhood or city, I'm sure that you will find some single barrel picks out there because this is a large barrel program that they have. And a lot of these liquor stores, they can buy one barrel and get it bottled and then deliver it and then they sell it to their customers. For the rest of the lineup, these are whiskeys that you should actually seek out. I mean, these people are just at the start. Remember, this was established in 2006. It's not comparable to these ginormous distilleries that are there for, you know, 40, 50, 60 years. So you need to absolutely seek out Wilderness Trail and taste everything that you can. And if you can find a six year old, try to hold on to it, try to collect it, because that's gonna be a big collector item in the future. All right, that's gonna do it for me. I'm OBG for tastingskills.com. Please remember to smash that like button. If you subscribe, go down there and click the bell. Otherwise, my friend, please remember to stay sober. Peace.